What's up everybody, it's a Blue Drake. And today, I want to show you the reason why I have been pretty much gone, more or less, for the past couple of years. As you all know, I started a project a few years ago called Warfare 1944. Now, what I haven't told you is after releasing footage of our alpha, we got so much support and there was so much interest that we were actually offered a publishing deal with a major game industry publisher. Since then, we have been going through and completely rebuilding the game from the ground up. We've been adding in massive maps, all sorts of new weapons, and a unique new visual style that's unique to our studio. But this is just the beginning, and we have so much more that we want to add into the game, and we have so many plans of what we want to do with the community. So in this video, we're going to talk about our vision for our games, and also talk about our development roadmap into early access on Steam. And if you stick around until the end of this video, you will be able to get a key to play Warfare 1944 on Steam today. So, first things first, I know a lot of people have had this question and it's one of the most important questions that everyone can have and I want to make sure we get this answered pretty soon but that is how much is this game going to cost and that actually brings me to probably the most important part of this video and that's that we're actually announcing two games today As many of you know, back in 2017, we also announced that we were working on a small project called Operation Harsh Doorstop. Operation Harsh Doorstop was to be a realistic combined arms tactical shooter inspired by games such as Project Reality, Battlefield Bad Company 2, and the Arma series. We started working on a few proof-of-concept systems for procedural destruction and multiplayer vehicles. And while it wasn't much, it was impressive enough for us to recruit a full development team. And now, after two years of work, Operation Harsh Doorstop is on its way to becoming a fully featured game. So, I know you're probably asking yourself, what are these games going to cost? And the answer is, Operation Harsh Doorstop is going to be completely free. Not free with microtransactions, not free with paid skins or paid DLC, not free with anything. Operation Harsh Doorstop will be 100% free on Steam. So that brings us to the next question. How is this possible? There are two ways that we are going to be funding development of Operation Harsh Doorstop. The first is Patreon. This is fairly straightforward. If you believe in our vision of creating and funding a free tactical shooter, that is able to meet or exceed the same quality levels of existing AAA games. Go to our Patreon, support us there, and in exchange, you will get Steam keys to not just alpha builds of the game, but other games that we have developed and that are also available on Steam. 
The second way that we will be funding development of Operation Harsh Doorstop is by games like Warfare 1944. On launch, Warfare 1944 will be $10 the bare minimum price so we can merely raise some funds to continue developing Operation Harsh Doorstop and also the core framework that both Warfare 1944 and Operation Harsh Doorstop are based on. The more funds that we raise for Operation Harsh Doorstop through Patreon or through game sales like with Warfare 1944, the more features we will be able to include in both games over time. Things like destructible environments, vehicles, aircraft, naval vessels, base construction, and much, much more. Additionally, we plan on releasing a full-featured source development kit for Operation Harsh Doorstop so that modification creators can create content that can be downloaded on the Steam Workshop and played by the community. This will include support for an in-game level editor which allows multiplayer level editing so your friends and you can create new environments all at the same time. So, in summary, we are hoping with your support that we can create a full realistic tactical shooter with destructible environments, vehicles, combined arms warfare, and full mod support, all 100% for free, available to the community. And as long as the community continues to support our development team through Patreon or on Steam with our other associated games, we plan on continuing to add new features and continue supporting the development of Operation Harsh Doorstop forever. And together with our publisher Microprose, who share our belief in creating this game for free for the community as well as supporting Warfare 1944 we are hoping to bring our games to as many people as possible on as many platforms as possible over time. Now I bet the next question you're asking is when you can play. Well... What's up everybody? It is a Blue Drake and we are now 100% live. There you go, guys. That was Blue Drake's introduction video there for the game and the other game, Operation Harsh, Stop. Operation Harsh Doorstop, that we've been working on. So from now on, this stream is just going to be us playing uh, Warfare 1944, so I'm going to be live from my perspective, and then if you'd like, you can go to Blue Drake's channel and you can see it from his perspective. He'll be answering more questions and talking more about it. I'm mostly just going to be playing it on my end, so whichever you're interested in watching more, you can go ahead and watch that. If you just want straight up gameplay, watch me. If you want to answer some questions or listen to him answer some questions, go over his profile. Or watch both. Uh, either way was fine with me. But uh, stick around. If you guys do have any questions for me, th this is Lieutenant Dan, by the way. I've been posting most of the videos on the channel recently. Go ahead and you can uh, ask them there in chat, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability as I can. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Looks like I'm on the American team. We're playing on Utah Beach. So it looks like they've actually already captured the first point, which is the hardest, so I'm going to hop in here and see if I can't help out. And uh, please let me know if there are any uh, issues with the stream. This is the first time I've had it set up like this, so if there's any audio issues or uh, anything's too loud or too quiet, let me know. Dag on the game is right now in uh, just pre-alpha, so we're just doing some testing. Uh, if you go to the DRK Discord, which uh, I believe is linked on Blue Drake's channel, you can take a look at our Discord, and we do have keys going out through there. Of course, those keys are currently just for testing uh, in pre-alpha. They're not uh, full version keys yet. the ground. I much prefer having a fully auto weapon here in these close quarters. Ah, got me. Make sure your 
blurs turn off it is. Alright, cool. Alright, gang, currently we're up to 64 players. Uh, hoping to get up to 100 player support. But currently we do have a at 64 just for the uh, time being. Looks like right now we're pretty much full. 31 on one team, 30 on the other. Oh no, see they, they, they back capped our flag here, so now we're going to have to go ahead and push back up the beach if we can't get that capped. Go boys, let's get in there. Go, let's push, let's push. Go, go, go. Justin, at the moment, we, of course, being in pre-alpha, are still working on all optimizations and stuff like that. Uh, the plan is, of course, to make it as uh, available to as many people as we can. So if you can't quite run it yet, of course, there's going to be optimization patches all throughout development. Um, so just keep keep checking in with it, and if uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something that you can run it yourself. Man, I'm not doing so hot, of course. I got the uh, stage fright. I usually kick butt. Maybe uh, a little nervous. I'm missing a lot. There we go. We got the Thompson now, though. That'll help out. Oh, there it is. What's up, Blue Drake? The push to Taki is V, by the way. It's V. Yeah, there we yeah. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Blue Drake 42. Let's watch him get his ass kicked, because that's usually what happens. Squad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Looks like we're making some progress. We might actually be able to get this point here. We moved up pretty far. It's 
Too many of them. Never give up, never surrender. So we do have in the game kit system, so as you see this uh, this grand on the ground here, I can hit F and pick it up. Switch weapons, you can pick up enemy weapons currently as well. Uh, at the moment I'm going to of course keep my Thompson because we're uh, up in close quarters. But... on here. Got him. So I can get the other side too. Ah, got me. Yeah, uh, Taylor. yep, this is a game that Blue Drake and a lot of the guys have been working on. I've uh, been helping as a uh, tester and a little bit of 3D modeling. Blue Drake's actually live on his channel as well right now. If you guys want to go check it out over there, he's probably going to be answering a little bit more questions. I'm not sure exactly what he's up to, but check him out over there. These walls are a pain sometimes to get over. Go get in there, get in there. Clear them out, clear them out, second floor. I feel kind of bad. Oh, I was reloading bad time. So I can't be a little sneaky bush bush whoopie over here. going on. They're going to clear some guys out here. I want Trench Gun. Get him. Trench Gun would be amazing. There we go. Now I'm getting my groove on. Oh no. Talk shit when I die. It's always, oh no, took the flag again. Come on, guys. Uh, Ty, I actually, I really enjoy the game. Granted, I'm also biased since I've one been playing it for uh, you know multiple years now, testing and also uh, work on it. So that kind of you know biases me a bit. But 
I think it's really good. It's a solid foundation. I think we got uh, we've got a lot of good ideas. I mean, we've got vehicles and stuff that are already pretty much done to go in some uh, the Kuba wagon and the the American Jeep. We've got other vehicles planned, tanks, planes, boats, even like it's gonna ah, damn. We're back to the beach. It's gonna be a rough one. Uh, Thomas, uh, the reason we don't go open source is just because it's a lot harder to control. As it is, most people in the community, I mean, you can help us out if you've got the skills or even just have the willingness to learn. Uh, once you go open source, it's just it's too easy for people to copy stuff. Um, and, you know, that's the worst feeling in the world when you work really hard on something for two, three years, and then it gets copied by somebody in five minutes. So, uh, yeah, and that's also true. Warfare 1944 is going to be launching at $10 to start. Uh, Operation Horse Stop will be the, uh, the free game. If you don't know what Operation Hard Store Stop is, uh, at the beginning of the stream, there's a video from Blue Drake, but also it'll be out on the stream afterwards as well. I'm sorry, I have on this channel. That kind of explains everything that we've been hey doing man, the last months. Sorry, two years, three years. Let's clear the bunker, boys. Let's go. Clear them out. He's out. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Cool. Go, clear the bunker, Ed. Let's go. You Let's go. Push, 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 push. I got your back, Dan. Lead from the front. I am a squad leader, let's do it. Do it. Watch out, Dunlake. He's down, let's go. Yeah, watch out, right side of the building. They're gonna be pushing around. Yep. Oh, there's a lot. I need help. One more, one more to the left. Or to the right, sorry. He went inside, I think. He's in the building. He's good. They're clear. Billy's clear. Woo! Got two of them in there. Okay, Billy's clear. Push me across. Push up, hold the wall. Let that guy go. I don't want to give away my position here. I'm going to try to sneak him in this house again. Nope. <laughs> Didn't sneak very well, apparently. Looks like we only got 13 tickets left. This game will be over soon, but then we'll be playing on the German side, so you'll see it from the other perspective. We got two tickets. Oh, two to ten. It's gonna be close. I'm not gonna spawn. Save the ticket. Ah, they got us. Ten tickets. That was a close one. How do I end up? I think I probably had it pretty good. I got maybe twenty some kills. Yeah, Tabs is Blue Drake doing his normal yelling a lot. It's usually what happens. Alright, so as you see, actually, uh, the flag locations have now changed. So this is set up uh, similar to if you've played Project Reality or if you've played Squad, the way the flag system works. Uh, so there's multiple different uh, layers that'll all generate based on where the flags are, and it'll put them in order of how they need to be captured. So currently on this, uh, the last flag, I believe the bunker was over here maybe we had a capture, um, and then we had to capture this farmhouse, and then I believe the next point was here and then here. So now we've got this point over at the barracks, and the bunker's in a slightly different space. Actually, I think that is the same spot for the, the beachhead. But so yes, yeah, so now we'll be having to push up through here. I'm actually going to switch to the Axis side so that we can see it from the uh, German point of view. Hopefully I don't get auto-balanced here. If I do, we'll just play as the Americans again. Uh, all I got is car 98, so we'll get in there and do some bolt actions, I guess. Alright, we'll leave them alone. Go to this side here and get some sniper shots off.
Jeez, my aim's off today. There we go, got him with that one. side hard. I have to move over there. Yeah, we'll switch sides here. And I don't know if you saw that there, but we do have staged reloading in for the, uh, the stripper clips here, so when I uh, reload a full clip, it will put in a whole clip, but when I have a partial, it only does part of the clip there, as you see. There is stage reloading in that sense, or not stage reloading, I should say, just doesn't have any animations depending on what, uh, what the game is. Actually, I am going to grab this American Thompson here because I prefer it. Bolt action, some action. There's an STG maybe? No, Thompson again? Hopefully, oh, somebody dies with an STG. I can pick that up. I love that gun. Not exactly what you're used to seeing on the beach, how huh? Germans killing other Americans with a uh, Thompson. Squad leader kits do. We do have pistols in the game, so this is 1911. Probably not gonna hit anything at this distance with it. Oh, shot off my teammate's helmet there. Didn't even do that. Luckily, no friendly fire in the game yet. Uh, not sure if that's something we're gonna add, but apparently we're just keeping it out for testing purposes. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're on accident friendly teammates. Makes it harder for people to troll as well, which is uh, always a problem when you let other people in play your games. Alright, I'm gonna grab this conveyor. Actually, if you saw there, I only shot two rounds because I picked that gun off the ground and it had been shot already, so it had only two rounds left in the mag. I had to reload. Back to the car 98, I guess. Oh, you know, I hope Jack Craig plays this game. I hope everybody does. I really think it's going to be a, a fun game. I mean, it is now, even in its uh, state it's in now, in early access, so... I hope everybody gets a chance to play it. cleared out now, or maybe I'll try to shoot out of here now. Oh, I got him, but it didn't kill him. It's a two-shot kill with the current idea unless you hit him in the head. Knock that guy's helmet off with that one. That's the shit off. Ooh, the STG. We're going to take that. I love this gun. Yeah, Ty, so it uh, it remembers how many bullets were in it when uh, when it was dropped. So if you die and you've shot half your ammo, uh, half your magazine, if somebody picks up that gun, it'll only have half that magazine left. It, it keeps track of everything. Blue Drake, get out of my way, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. You just walk around. All right. Now 
Now, what I'm looking forward to is when we get the MG-34s and the MG-42s in the game, because I'm always loving to play a uh, heavy machine gunner, or light machine gun, I should say, in these types of games, man. It'd be so much fun. I mean, think about that. If I had a bipod right now, MG-42, oh, so many guys. So many guys would be dead. I think, of course, with the STGs, it's going to have a lot higher of a recoil than that Thompson and the... Uh, the MP40, which is the other gun that we have. So the squad leads on the uh, German team have an MP40. Then the rifle, we get a Car 98. Then there's the what we call the machine gunner roll right now, um, which is going to have the uh, STG. And then there's the medic, which has the uh, the bear uh, carbine. So then on the American team, it's the Thompson for the squad lead. And they also get the 1911. Then the rifleman gets the Garand. The machine gunner on the American team gets the dome that guy. Uh, the American team gets the uh, BAR as their light machine gun right now, and then they get the uh, M1 carbine as their. God, man, I'm just dropping now. M1 carbine is their medic supply. So we don't actually have med kits and stuff in the game yet, but they are definitely in progress. So once we do, of course, the medic will have a lot bigger of a role actually reviving and healing people. For now, they're just a uh, placeholder class with the M1 carbine. I'm actually almost out of ammo here. As you see in the bottom right there, I have zero magazines left. Uh, have to... Man, I don't know if that was me or somebody else, but if it was me, I'm just kicking ass right now. Same thing there. It's probably somebody else. There's probably somebody else just picking my targets out. It's probably this guy. The manhunt probably kicking my ass. Getting all these kills up against me. It's probably him. Oh, there we go. We're out of ammo, so I gotta go find one. I'm gonna get on the ground here. Where am I at here, kill-wise? Where are we at here? Oh, that's Americans. Eight kills, not bad. Uh, looks like he's kicking the most ass. Happy with 12. Model Maker with 14, two deaths, killing it. I don't know who Calvin Hood is, but on the Americans, 22 kills on the on the beach, that's good. Excuse me. All right, what do we got here? Car 98, I guess I'll just have to take that. That's all. Ooh, Thompson, there we go. So we have some ammo. Oh, I don't die here. Good timing. Don't let them get too close to the bunkers, boys. Once they clear this bunker, it's over. Sorry, excuse me. Right, we'll go back to our spot over here. It's a good spot. Yeah, I've always liked not being able to know how many bullets are in your magazine, you know. It's something you wouldn't really know. I mean, you can always feel the weight of the weapon when you're shooting one, but, you know, unless you're keeping count in your head, the only way to check is to pop the mag out. I know that's something they do in, like, Tarkov, which is really cool. I don't know if it's something we're going to add. It, I'd like to add it, but I don't always, you know, get everything I want, but we'll see. The ability to pull the mag out and check how much, or at least, you know, do a mag check of some sort would be nice. So of course something like the Thompson's not going to kill it uh, or do as much damage, I should say. But a headshot will still kill if you hit him, and just a little bit easier to control than that SG at range. Oh, look at that guy! Ah, oh, somebody else got me. So we're doing a pretty good job. I mean, uh, so we start with 500 tickets per team. So you see, we're about 100 tickets ahead of them right now. But that's pretty typical for the beachhead. Once they clear this beachhead, with them having the M1 Grand and we having the Car 98 on our rifle kit, which is what most people have, um, then they get a little bit more of an advantage once they push inland. So if they can capture this first objective, it really helps out the American team. You see here, there's actually we got limits right now on all the classes. So three on the squad lead, four on the machine gunner, four on the medic for now for a full team. Uh, eventually, there's going to be of course a squad system similar to. Games like Squad, games like Postscript and Project Reality, uh, where you have squad lead and then all your roles that you can pick inside the squad. And you can yeah, well, I have rally points and FOBs and all that stuff, but for now we just have an arbitrary limit just to keep it under, uh, keep it from everybody running around with the MP40. So, Avocado, if you go to the Drakelings uh, Discord, or it should be. It's not linked in Blue Drake's channel. Um, I can put it in the description of this video here in a second. Oh, that's too close. Uh, I don't think I got him. Oh, I missed him. 
But yeah, if you go in the DRK uh, Discord, then there will be a uh, a way to get a key through there. And yeah, there will be su suppression, so there's going to be su suppression. Actually, there's a uh, we have a public Trello board right now. Once again, I should have put it in the description of this video, but if you go to Blue Drake's channel, I believe he has it in there. Um, and it'll show you what we have currently planned. So it's uh, it's tanks, planes, um, boats, of course. We're going to have suppression. All that fun stuff. Melee weapons, we're going to have a bayonet. And it does a melee weapon, a knife. Let's see, probably a bayonet at one point as well. They're all, they're all around us. Burn! There's burn! Oh, man. Not so great with the bolt action, clearly. Fuck. I'm dead. So they're making a push. They might actually cap this. If they do, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Let's go, boys. Take that bunker back. Hold the beach. I need to get a, uh, an automatic weapon here. There's got to be one here somewhere. Yeah, there we go, BAR. Make sure it's reloaded here. Oh, God. They're going to take it. I don't think we're going to be able to hold it. And you see they're catching up on the tickets here. We were up 100. Now we're only up about 75. So far, though, let's see if I can't get another automatic weapon here. I'm much better with those. Okay, maybe. Ah, there we go, Thompson. Alright, so I only got five mags on this one. Got five mags, so we'll have to be careful. Try to conserve ammo here. Won't last very long if we don't. I say as I put an entire mag into somebody. So avocado, we don't actually have any uh, strict deadlines on it, so that's one of the things we really want to focus on is having an open, uh, kind of open deadline. It'll get finished when it's finished. We're gonna try to continue to add, basically, as long as we can continue to get funding and support. We're gonna continue to add features and add stuff to the game. Um, we want to keep growing as with the community and have the community help. So. Yeah, Justin, I agree. Uh, there's a lot of things with suppression games like a uh, postscriptum. Honestly, I don't mind it so much in Postscript. I don't know if you played Hell Let Loose, but I think Hell Let Loose maybe goes a little bit overboard with it to the point where basically you're being shot at at all. It's almost impossible to aim back. I don't think it's too bad with the automatic weapons in like close quarters because you can still usually get on target. But um, the problem is with like the bolt action rifle. So like if you're playing as the Germans or you're using the Springfield or something, if you get shot at at all, it's impossible to shoot back. So. Uh, Postscriptum is alright. Project Realities is interesting. Project Reality, the thing that uh, I don't like the most about Project Reality is the way they handle yeah, their the aim deviation. So it's not, like in a game like Squad or, or um, Postscriptum or Hella Loose, usually it's your gun sway. So like if you sprint, your gun will start swaying. And that's how your aim's messed up. I, I prefer that sort of thing where at least if you can get your iron sights on target, it'll hit where you're shooting. Games like Project Reality will use uh, weapon deviation, so there's you have to stop and sit still for a short amount of time before your aim will be perfect, otherwise it'll miss from where your crosshair is aimed. And, and I don't like that, because if my iron sights are on target, right, it should hit. Right, because that's, I mean, that's just how guns work. If you line up your sights and you fire, assuming you don't pull, pull off target or something like that, you'll you'll hit where you're shooting. That's the point of the iron sights, right? That's why, that's why they're there. I'm not even paying attention. I'm, down to, I'm out of magazines. This is my last one. And look at this, though. All these guys. It's so cool to see this server pull up. We've had a couple tests with 64 players, but it's, just, uh, it's always cool. Oh, let's see if he has some more ammo. Oh, actually, no, we'll do the MP40. We've got nine mags for this. That'll be good. If I don't die. Let's go from the side here. Ah. <laughs> I 
Fortnite dancing? No, unfortunately, I do not think Fortnite dancing is in a roadmap yet. Uh, yes, uh, to answer your question, Ty, there is crouching. Prone is in, in the works right now, so I'll show you right now. Crouch. Stand up. Enough. Can't sprint while you're crouching currently. I don't know if that'll be a feature we add. But prone is definitely in the works, it's just not in yet. I like these little bunkers, but the issue is, is uh, there's always somebody in them. Oh no, not out, not out. Gotta hit that first shot in these trenches, man. Well, I guess maybe they're not gonna take it. I really thought they had it earlier, but. Fifteen kills. What's Blue Drake got? I always gotta compare myself to him, see if I can get it. But oh, the other team now six kills, six and six. Look at me, fifteen seventy six and six. Mm. Better than him at his own game. If you're in his uh, stream, make sure you talk shit. Tell him Lieutenant Dan's better than he is, and then tell me what he says because I can't. <laughs> I'm not watching it. Oh no! Bad time to run out of ammo. Ah. To answer your question, Ty, we're actually just kind of going with something that's fun, right? We want to keep it realistic, of course, in terms of uh, historical stuff like that, and as much as we can, but at the same time, we're not trying to be, uh, you know, perfect simulator like Arma tries to be, you know. It, we want a game that's going to be fun to play, similar to kind of like Day of Infamy, stuff like that. Uh, Brody, this game is Warfare 1944. Watch out, right side, that's where they're hitting us from. Ooh, STG, yeah. Right here. And, uh, do you guys want to check out a little bit more about the game? The Steam page is up. Warfare 1944 and Operation Hard Store Stop. Both games that were announced today. If you guys want to check those out, you can. They're up on Steam. I'm actually going to switch this to semi auto here, make it a little easier to aim. Probably can. Give me a second, I'll cuddle. Let me see if I can get some keys. You just I don't actually have any keys with me, but uh, I just asked to see if I can get a couple sent over so I can give away one to here. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with using the Kind 98 for a little while. Oh, jeez. Don't get killed. I only have 50 tickets left, though. We'll see. See if they can take it. If they can take it right now or pretty soon, they'd have a pretty good chance. Like I said, it, it, they start getting tickets a lot easier when uh, they're getting kills a lot easier once they push past that beach. <laughs> Look at these guys in the foxholes. Let's see if I can. Man, we're just spawn camping them now. That other super realistic thing that happened where the uh, Germans were camping the, 
Native Americans on the beach. Alright guys, I did get a couple keys here. It's going to be first come first serve. I don't have any way to fancily hand it out or nothing like that. So uh, on my next death here or at the end of the game, whichever happens, I'll be posting the key. So it'll be a steam key, first come first serve. Whoever can get it, can get it. Like I said, either at next death or when the round ends here, I will give away one key and then I'll, I'll have a couple more to give away maybe later. Now the server may be full right now too, so if you get the key, you may not be able to join right away, but just keep trying and uh, I'm sure someone will drop at some point. Uh -huh. go we did it <laughs> don't die until I start my PC Justin all right I'll give you just for you Justin I will give you like a few more minutes if you guys want to get the key I mean there's only 10 of you so the likelihood also I'm pretty sure if you've got the steam app on your phone I'm pretty sure you can redeem a key there if you're fast I might be wrong on that. I know you can buy games from the Steam app on your phone. I don't know if you can, uh, I don't know if you can redeem the key. I'm going to take a look real quick at Blue Drake's stream, see how he's doing over there. Oh, there we go. We switched to Karen. Can hear me? So... It's not just one map that we have oh, going yeah. right now. We've got I Karen think there, here. there's vehicles the oh, sorry, in, on this. I hear all these guys talking. I hope, I hope, I hope you run. All right. There's vehicles me, on this map. Let's switch to the uh, They're not being American team here. Yet. Got the car uh, grand. Let's go. Justin, just let me know when you're ready, and I will post the key. All right, so this is Carantane, right? So not the same map anymore. Similar style well, of the uh, game coming. mode right now. So this is a kind of like an attack and defense game mode, right? So the Germans hold all the flights at the start, and our job is to push and capture them. There, uh, there's another game mode we got working right now, which is similar, except uh, both teams start on opposite sides, and no flags are captured. So that's similar to oh, geez, did I get team balance? Yeah, I got team balance. I thought that might happen. So there's another game mode. So this one, like I said, Americans start with the first base, and that's it. They have to push all the way through to the other ones. The Germans start with all of them captured, and they have to defend. Currently, once this is captured, the uh, Germans can recapture it. But um, in the future, it may be locked. So once it's captured, once it's done, I'm not sure. So actually, the Americans have already capped the first point, which is not great for us. It's only been about one minute, and they've already capped it, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. So once it's capped, we can no longer spawn on it, so that's the big problem, right? Is They can spawn on it, and we can't. See how much easier it was for them to cap it, because it's, uh, they've got the grand and stuff like that that are just a lot easier to use at close quarters. That was not a great spot. So now we can't spawn on this point anymore. We have to spawn back here, which means it's going to be a lot harder to hold that. Unless these three guys can hold it on their own. But here we'll be. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, post the key here in just a second, guys. Let me just pull it up. i got to pull it off Discord here. Once again, like I said before, this is a key for steam so it'll be for the uh, testing purposes of this game I'm gonna post it here of course the stream is a little delayed for you guys so it'll be posting before I say it here so just be ready all right let's get back into it here
Oh, we broke it neutral. We might actually be able to recap it here. We did, we recapped it, so there we go. Now we just gotta push up and clear it off and we're gonna hold them back again. Hopefully. Ah. I'm pretty good, I'm not taking on four four Americans at once by myself, good. Alright, so there's the defense flag. We go ahead and spread out a little bit here on the flank. Hello? Oh, there's a lot of Americans here. Jesus. And they've recapped. Alright. That didn't last long. Oh, and I think he just picked up my kid. What a jerk. So this channel's gonna be the same as it's been, so it's gonna be, of course, uh tactical games occasionally just some fun little one-off time videos where I'll do something like I just did with Furman Tide or stuff like that. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Oh, I can hear him. Now you're not with him. You're both dead. Ha! Alright, sorry. That was cringe. I gotta talk shit every once in a while. But yeah, so I'll keep posting uh, videos from Postscriptum Squad. Hell, at least if uh, they ever update it. I'll have warfare stuff up, Operation Hardstore stop stuff. Um, just you know, sneak peeks maybe into what we've recently developed, or even just full rounds like I've been doing. We do still have a combined arms Discord, which uh, we're working on getting rekindled essentially. So that that link for that Discord is in the description. So if you want to join there, get some guys to play some games with. Pretty much behind all the extra map here. Yeah, so I might actually get some good flank going. Oh, hello. I think he was AFK. Oh, jeez, I hear him. Oh, no. Uh, get out of there. Alright, let's see if I can't. Oh, there's a lot. I'm just gonna try to sneak behind him and capture the point here. Uh, yeah, I do have another channel tie. Uh, I have my channel, Lieutenant Dan, USAFX3, but I don't post anything really on that besides just some stuff for my friends that I've done. Uh, it's just small videos like that. This is the, the main channel that I put content on. So this channel was originally supposed to be um, any, you know, a bunch of members from our community posting videos of gameplay, stuff like that. Uh, it ended up turning into pretty much just me, but it's something we may do in the future again where we have videos from uh, other members of the community besides just me. Axe Gaming used to post every once in a while. Actually, the, uh, the original version of this was on Blue Drake's channel, and actually, I don't know if you guys watch Karma Cut, but he was initially one of the guys that uh, started doing it on Blue Drake's channel and ended up just breaking off his own channel, and now he's actually got more subs than Blue Drake does, so he's been very successful, which is good. Oh, jeez, they see me. I would say anytime, if you're 14, 15, and you think you're mature enough to hang out with us and, you know, act like an adult, I think it's fine. Wow, my aim is off. Jeez, this guy's oblivious. Yeah, if you think you can hang out, it's we kind of treat it similar like Squad Ups does, right? It's a 16 and up community, but if unless you give us a reason to think that you're under 16, then we're good. And yeah, Ty, currently I am the uh, the only one putting up videos right now, so I'm doing it. Not, not full-time, I, I have a job that I do outside of this. I just post stuff on my free time. But yeah, I am the uh, currently the only one posting videos on the channel. Like I said, I'd love to expand that and have other members of the community post stuff if they'd like. I mean, we're always open to expanding it. See if I can get this capped. I'm almost there. I got a neutral, which is good. They can't spawn on it. Hopefully my team will make a push here. I know I'm kind of literally being a troll under the channel. 
of the, or under the bridge, I should say. Well, hey, Dark, it's okay that you're late, because we're still here. Oh, jeez, here they come. I've upset the Americans. They got me. Man, my team didn't push up at all. Come on, boys. Let's talk some shit. Come on, boys, let's go. Use a flank. Get up there. What are you doing, useless fodder? You're being useless fodder. Let's go. Ah, here on the flank here. Oh, no, that might be fun. Come on, boys. Get Kills, but I also want to cap, so I'm gonna live, let those guys go. Let's see, 16 kills, kick ass. Oh no. I'm right out where they're spawning, I think. Who's this with me on the flank? Oh, sh shit. I will rape your asshole. I will rape again. Uh, so I think what I'm most looking forward to with the game right now is going to be... Well, it's kind of two parts. So vehicles, we've got the Jeep and the Kuba Wagon working pretty well. They're just not cool. We're, we're still ironing out some bugs, so that's why they're not in the game currently. Uh, they were at one point, but we're working on getting them back in. Um, that'll really change the dynamic, being able to move around the map a lot faster. Uh, and then the second thing's going to be rally points, because that'll, well, at that point, we'll pretty much not have the spawns on the flags anymore. So once we have a squad system and rally points, it'll be a lot less of a, I know it's currently kind of just run at the point and die, run at the point and die. Um, the rally points will add a little bit more of an element of, sorry, focusing here a little bit, a little bit more of an element of strategy, right? Because if I can, like right now, where we're flanking here, if I could put a flag down, oh, of course I died. Or if I could put a rally point down, like on this flank here on the side, that would be great, right? My team could now spawn here and push over. Actually, that worked out well. I can spawn on this point now. We capped it. But it would just change the dynamic, right? It would make it a lot easier to, to flank and capture points, and even a lot easier to defend points, because you could spawn to the side and, and get around people. Similar to how games like, like I said earlier, Squad, Project Rally, and stuff do it. That's the other thing right now, the hip fire is pretty much just as accurate as your iron sights, so it's really good. Let's see if we can't push in here and clear out some of these guys. That guy was 100% AFK, I feel kind of bad. Not really bad, though. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, get inside. Oh, okay, no, he's up here. I thought there was somebody up here. Uh, Lou, yeah, uh, so we did use aerial photos as reference for a lot of the maps. 
Uh, so you, you'll see here, Carantan, right? The city is tiny right now, right? Well, not really tiny. It's still pretty big if you look. It's, it's pretty large. I mean, each one of these. That house I was just in, if you look there, is, uh, let's see. Which I don't think it's currently on the map yet. But that house is pretty much like this big of an area. And every single house here is that big, and all of them pretty much are interoperable. So, uh, this is our current area. If you look on our Trello board, I believe we have a map split up that shows more. So, we have this much with buildings, we have this much here with, uh, most of the fields and streams and bushes and hedges and stuff done. But this whole area eventually is going to be done, right? So right now we focus most of our points, of course it ends. But uh, we focus most of our points there and around the city, but it, eventually it'll be able to be pretty much anywhere on that whole square map. Man, we kicked their butt. But yeah, along with any, anything else, Lou, we're not one-to-one -one scale or anything like that. You know, we use them as a reference and we we go off that. But obviously liberties have to be taken with maybe the layout of buildings and stuff like that to make it not necessarily just simpler, but just easier to uh, model, stuff like that. Um, and of course, just for gameplay perspective. Hey, right? I need a small group of people to come with me. You want to come? So you see here, right? So our hey, last hey, one was straight people, down this road. With me. So they had to push down this people. straight road with two bridges. It's really hard for them to push. Now this one, if anyone wants to come with me, they've got to cross this, uh, this like lakey area here. All right, follow me. But once they cap there, they're going down this path into the city, and then once again they're, they're going to split here and have to capture here. So push, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to try to go southeast. allied team this time. We'll see if it'll uh, let me stay on that team. We do have auto balance set up, so of course if too many people are on this side, it won't let me. And I think this is the side Blue Drake's on. Yeah, that's what, probably why everybody wants to spend his team, but which is fine. I mean, he is a cool guy. If he's terrible at video games, that's fine. Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> Auto balance right away. Oh, well, I guess I'll play as the Germans again. See, this lake isn't really quite a lake, it's just really marshland, so we can still go through pretty easily. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, like Tabs just said, you can go on Steam, both this game and Operation Harsh Doorstop. Operation Harsh Doorstop, that's kind of hard to say. They're both up on Steam, uh, in terms of Steam pages, the store page is available. You go in there and wish list it. Take a look. We got some screenshots and a little trailer on there for some of it. And uh, once it's available for purchase, uh, Warfare, of course, uh, Operation Harsh Doorstop will be free. You can buy it. Let's see if I can get this guy without him getting me here. Let's get into these close quarters. It gets a little awkward. Got him. Oh, oh. All right, I got him once. Got to hit him one more time. Oh, there's two. Alright. Oh, we're gonna change this up. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna pick up the disc. No, give it, give it, give it, give it. Got him. Pro gamer move right there. Let's get upstairs. STG time. Surprise! Uh, by the way, team voice, or, uh, voice chat goes through both teams, so he could hear me. Oh, Blue Dragon in the stream, huh? Well, we'll finish out this game. You guys want to keep watching for a little while? And then, of course, if you want to subscribe, we're going to have more videos about Warfare, more videos about Operation Arch Doorstop as time goes on, and as well as the content we've been posting, which is just a tactical game, full rounds. Actually, I know you guys really like Project Reality, at least, uh, well, maybe not you guys specifically, but the channel guys, or uh, the Project Reality videos get a lot of traction here on the channel, so. Oh, no. Surprise! 
Too easy. Anyway, I'm going to be putting out a Project Rally video. It'll be coming out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And then every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, pretty much consistently, I'll be putting out a video. Sometimes I miss it. Like uh, this week, I know Monday I didn't put one out. I put it out Tuesday, but do my best to get one out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern time here. The thing with not having med kits in the game yet is uh, I uh, am at half health here, so basically one shot from any uh, grand will kill me. So it's a bit, bit of a tense situation. I hear people. I don't know if they're friendly. Um, Anti-tank rifles will probably be in the game at some point. Uh, I know we're working on explosives right now, and we're going to be putting vehicles in, including tanks and stuff like that. So at least, at the very least, a bazooka and some sort of anti-tank class, right? A bazooka, panzer file, stuff like that. Um, in terms of AT rifles, it's something that, of course, is, is possible. As Blue Drake's in this little video, you might have missed it. Um, we're going to continue de developing and continue adding features to the game as long as it's supported. So as long as you guys are hanging out and, you know, enjoying the game and people are playing it we'll keep adding stuff as we can sniper rifles I would assume is along the same way I haven't heard one way or the other on it but of course right now we pretty much just have primary weapons for everybody but it's it's definitely something I would assume gets added Oh man, I'm really lost. I'm running that complete. I was completely turned around. All right. Uh, there's no grenades in Yeti, in, so that's one of the things we're working on is the explosives. Um, so they'll definitely be coming in, hopefully soon. We'll have, of course, the frag grenade for the Americans. Actually, if you look on our Trello board, there is a card listed for that so you can see some work in progress models for the uh, smoke grenades. We're going to have smoke grenades, frag grenades on both factions, of course. Did I cap this? No, not yet. Oh, crap, you did the grain. Uh, tack shooter, that is going to be a question more for Blue Drake. I can see if I can find out for you. Um, I know that you'll definitely have access during time of it being an alpha and beta I believe it should I think it'll still be 10 bucks I'm not quite sure on that so don't take my word for it but you'll definitely be able to get in access for the, uh, the Patreon oh here Alvaro I'll go ahead and go over to the city I know that uh, we're probably not going to get there we've been holding pretty good let me run over there, see if I can get over there. Of course, I used to be able to just fly over there with the admin cam, but I believe that's disabled. Let's find out. Yeah, they've got debug camera shut off, so I can't fly over there, but I'll walk over there. Ty, that's another thing that's... It, it's part of the stretch goals, right? So, I mean, as it is right now, we've got the Germans and the Americans, but as long as the game's supported, we'll... Keep adding stuff, factions, maps, weapons, vehicles, all that. It's all possible to be added. I mean, realistically, the models are pretty similar on a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, that's the other thing too, Tag. If you want a little bit more information on everything, you can go ahead and join the Discord server. So there's the uh, DRK Discord server. Actually, Tabs, if you don't mind, if you've got that, there's an invite link in the Discord server. Uh, should be, I think, on the Announcements tab. If you want to grab that and put it in there for everybody, that'd be great. I would, but I'm playing. If you can't do it, I can shortly here. I 
Alright, halfway there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that Discord link real quick, guys. Give me one second. There you go, so that's the Drakelings Discord, uh, and in there, there's also a link for the Drakelings Lab, which is our development Discord. If you're interested in uh, helping with the development in any way, whether it be beta testing beyond uh, the what we're going to be having publicly available, or if you've got any experience modeling, programming, anything with UE4, or even really if you're willing to learn, you can click that link that's in inside that Drakelings Discord there, and uh, you can basically apply to help out with us. So myself, I had absolutely zero 3D modeling experience, and now I have basically still absolutely zero 3D modeling experience, but I did learn a little bit to try to start helping out the game. You know, it's funny you say that, I've been waiting in this field for a fight for like 10 minutes. Just let them advance Yeah, well, I got the street no. going, and they're asking me to uh, to check out the town, so that's where I'm going. Yeah, I think I I know that game. I pretty sure I might have also played it in high school. Uh, that Flash game. I've definitely played some World War Two Flash games. I I don't remember the name of them. It's been so long now. It was always funny. The teachers were always trying anything they could do to to block all the Flash game websites, but uh, we always found a way to find a new one that wasn't blocked. All right, so here's the edge of the town. So a lot of the buildings, as you can see, are currently. Uh, got some basic assets in them, stuff like that. So eventually, I don't know if you've seen uh, from either Blue Drake's channel previously or some of his other videos that we are going to be having destruction out of the game. So it's not in yet because we don't have explosives. There's really no reason to have destruction because you wouldn't be able to destroy anything anyway. But so we're going to have destruction. Everything, every wall, every building can be will be destroyed. Probably the fences, you know all that stuff so when we have tanks in game right you can shoot a tank shell at that and blow that wall off if somebody's camping in it stuff like that so but yeah so this is the town so we're pretty much in the center of it now we're getting close to it take a look around like I said I wish I could go into the admin camp for you guys and, and show off a little bit but unfortunately uh, I've got it disabled so nobody's cheating but this is it so I, I love these barrels. I don't know who it was that did these, but when you shoot them, they drop a little bit of oil out, which I love. Oh yeah, I've got a second key to give out. Hold on one second. Let me do that real quick as well, because this is probably going to be over soon. I know it's going to be a little delayed on the stream, but I did just post another key there for the game if you want to go ahead and grab it. I believe these keys are just currently for the pre-alpha and the beta builds for testing. Not sure if they're full keys, to tell you the truth, but maybe. Yeah, Justin, I mean, if you can't test or whatever, it's no big deal. Uh, still, you can still join that Drakelings Discord. That's just a public Discord for anybody who wants to just see progress on the game and stuff like that. Uh, even the last couple of weeks we've been testing just with guys in there. We've just been throwing keys to guys and saying, hey, hop in and test with us. So, I mean, if you're interested in just following the development and stuff like that, you can still hop into that Discord if you uh, if you want and keep checking in. We've got feedback forms and all that other stuff built into that. We'll be posting media, dev blog, stuff like that as well. Yeah, I mean, some of the other things we're looking at adding is, uh, so along with the destruction system, kind of along with it, body destruction, right? So gore, stuff like that will be added at some point as well. Um, at least it's something we want to get added. We'll see how it goes. 
I might have already answered this avocado by the time I saw it here. Or by the time you hear it, I should say. But I believe these keys are currently just for the alpha and beta testing. They might be full release keys. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're just four. No, you know what? They might be full keys. Because that's, uh, that's the key that I got to get in. And it says I own the game. So you should be okay. I believe it's a full key. I personally do not have Discord now. Not my own server. Uh, but if you join, like I said, that Drake Link's Discord, it is kind of our community Discord for now. Let's see if I can't get back in the fight, see if they've even captured anything yet. No, they haven't even captured the first point. How many tickets were left? Oh, 400. They must have added tickets at some point to it. Yeah, Varro, I have definitely experienced that in Postscriptum and Hell at Loose as well, where a uh, tiny little tree or stump or something gets in your way. Hopefully not an issue we have here. Makes me miss, uh, as, as janky as Arma 3 is, they do do that pretty good, at least most of the time, where you can knock stuff over. Though I guess really realistically, the game that I think does it best with tanks is War Thunder, well, just in terms of knocking trees over and stuff. You can pretty much knock anything over. Then you can bust through all the buildings and stuff. I've, I've always liked that. Alright, almost back into the fight here. And Yellow, yeah, this is... Uh, so it was originally a community channel that we had community members posting videos on. Stuff that Blue Drake couldn't really put on this main channel because it would be demonetized. Stuff like... Full rounds of squad, project reality, postscriptum, stuff like that. Um, since about January, it's kind of just been focused by me to put on stuff for me. Um, still, of course, with the community sometimes and all that other stuff, but just in an effort to, to retain viewership and, and get some new subscribers, stuff like that. Uh, going forward in the future, it, it's at least going to have my content on here. I'd like to try to get some more members of the community to have content as well. Uh, I'm going to be posting since now that Warfare and OHD are... Uh, announced, I'll be posting content from this. I'll, you know, if we do a test, I might do a full round where I record the whole gameplay, and as we're getting new features and stuff, and I'll be putting that up as well. I know I've got a Project Reality ch um, a video going out tomorrow from not quite 1.6. 1.6 was just released today. So I don't have a video on that yet. I'll be playing that actually soon after this to get some footage. But. Oh, let's see. I got an MP40. Let's uh, take that out. Oh, and I guess I technically haven't said it yet, but pretty much everything sounds and weapon models, stuff like that, a lot of it's going to be placeholder and be tweaked, so like most of these weapon sounds have pretty recently been added in, we're still working on getting the volumes of everything correct and balancing all that out, of course. Um, so any of that stuff can change, obviously as you can see at the top there, this is a pre-alpha build for everything, so nothing's final, anything can be changed. Jesus, oh, that was a massacre right there. I don't even know where it came from. Oh, it got me too. Uh, Ty, yeah, so as it is right now, um, there was a couple people in the community that have access to post on the channel. It's something that we're going to be, you know, basically what we'd want to see is if you have a video that you think, well, one, if you're playing with the community, that's what we really want is to have you guys playing in with the DRK community and with all of the, or the combined arms community, which are kind of shared. If you got a video, let's say you were playing some squad or project reality or something with some of the guys from the community, you recorded it, you edited it down, and you had a video that you wanted to show off, and it's, you know, like I said, it's related to what we do on the channel here. What you should do is, if you join that Drake Link's Discord or the Combined Arms Discord, if you've got that video ready to go, just shoot it over to me or Blue Drake or somebody and say, hey, you know, I got this video. I think it goes well with stuff on here can you take a look at it? And if it's something we think will be good, you know, I'm always willing to put up a video of, you know, like I said, the same kind of thing. 
long format, full rounds of Project Reality, Post Script, and Helmet Loot, stuff like that. Uh, Ty, the, the tank is in. Let me switch teams real quick and I'll show you, but the, the ping is in. So if you shoot all the rounds here, it makes the noise. And the same thing like with the Car 98 clip, if you don't fire everything, you do eject the clip first. Or, and uh, put the new one in. Uh, Richard, yeah, you know, I am playing a little bit of Hell at Loose. I'm kind of waiting to see the next update, so... Pro Scriptum has been doing a lot of updates, that's why I've been playing a little bit more of that. Um, Hell at Loose has been a little lagging behind. I was also having an issue with Hell at Loose with the optimization for a little while. I was having issues recording it, but I think I got that fixed up, so... I do have a couple rounds recorded from Hell at Loose from a couple weeks back. I don't know if I'll post them, though, because they weren't really great. Um, it was kind of boring. We didn't really do much, so... Definitely something I want to be adding to the channel here soon once I, uh, something new comes out for it, you know? At the end of the day, I'm posting stuff that I'm playing, so if I'm not playing it, then I'm just not going to post it much. But yeah, I, I love the ping on the M1 Grand Tips. I think it's great. Um, the R Sound guys did a really good job with that one. I can actually stick to the American team this time if I'm going to get auto balanced. Kind of been slow this game, only nine kills. Granted, I guess I, I did run into the town, so that was half of it. But yeah, just thinking about it, right? So, like this push right here, right? We got this whole long way to run. That's why we're really not able to capture this point, but. If, if we get the vehicles in, we have the uh, rally points, stuff like that in, uh, as I'm getting shot. You know, like, if I was a squad lead right now, I'd say, okay, we need to cap this point. I'd grab a vehicle with my squad. I'd roll up this road. I'd probably go, honestly, all the way through the city and come up and put a Holy rally shit, point he's dead! Him. Holy because shit, he's Because then we dead. could flank from that other direction. Or, or even just, you know, right up here in the bushes, right? It's just a little bit closer for spawn point. So I think that really is going to be a big change once we get that in here. So I'll go ahead and, uh, this round's probably going to go a little while. I'll stream till about 2.30 Easterns, another 7 or 10 minutes or so, and then I'll probably go ahead and wrap up. Not to sound like a broken record, but if you guys uh, want to, like I said, keep seeing content about this game, then not just stuff I post, join that Drake Link's Discord. We'll uh, definitely be having stuff going on in there. And of course, if you want, and, you, you know, no obligation, of course, but we do have that Patreon page as well, which I will link here at the end of the stream. You can support the game through that. Help us out with our development, and if you get access, like I said, or sorry, I should say, like Blue Drake said in that video at the beginning, that you'll get access to the game if you support on Patreon. Let's go, let's push! Oh, jeez. I'm clearly off my game. Try out the carbine here. I'll show you guys that. I guess I really haven't been able to show you too many of the American weapons. I've been on German most of the time. So I know I did pick this up for a second earlier, but M1 carbine, so... I think it's a 15-round mag? I'm not quite sure of the exact number, but... somewhere. Oh, well, he must have died. Man, it's really this building up here they can sit in, and it's, uh, it's very good to hold. Oh, what's that? Yeah, 
the other thing I'm really looking forward to having is a hit indicator. I got hit there almost three quarters of my health, and I didn't even realize it. We don't really have a hit indicator yet, so you kind of get smacked and you don't know. All right, I'm gonna try to send it. Oh, make it in! Come on! I get upstairs. It's really good. Clear these guys up. As you saw there, the helmet did take that one bullet, so they do have some uh, ability to block bullets. I think it's a random chance right now. But I was not expecting it. Yeah, Texas, I like the art style too, so it was funny enough, we were working on another one of Blue Drake's games, uh, Iron Armada. So that's a game that I think was released about a year and a half, two years ago. It's a pixel, top-down, shipbuilding like space game. And we were trying to figure out how we were going to do this one, and really it was just kind of, we were looking at stuff for Iron Armada, and somebody, I don't even remember who it was, was just like, we have texture artists that do pixel art already. Why don't we just use them for this? Why don't we just make the art style pixelated? And it worked out. I mean, I really like it. I think it's something pretty unique. I mean, yeah, there's games like Ravenfield that have a similar low-poly kind of look to it. But actually, really, it's not so much low-poly, so... It, it is still pretty high fidelity in terms of a lot of the models and stuff. It's not, you know, like super blocky guns. I mean, hell, just look at this M1 right now. I mean, yeah, it's a little blocky compared to, you know, otherwise. But if you took the texture off that, it would look almost, you know, like a pretty high poly model. But we've got the pixel art on there, which just adds to that art style, right? And then things like the leaves, right? So, like, if you look, these leaves aren't really pixel art. I mean, yeah, they're pixelated, right? But they're not really that much pixel art. They, they, from afar, look like, I mean, that looks like a tree. That looks like a bush. It doesn't look too much like pixel art. But, and, and that's, you know, that's the kind of thing we like. like I mean, even these cornfields, right? Or, I guess it's not corn. Wheat, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure what it is, but. Get the bar. I would get the bar. I think it's currently locked. Oh, it isn't. You know, let me do that. Oh, <laughs> see, of course. See, you made me kill myself. And now it's gone. I will subtract the M1 like that, or the uh, carp, or the uh, Garand, I should say, not the carp. Oh, this guy with no name who's kicking ass. It's pretty even in tickets, I'm surprised. funny because we keep trying to get into this building and in reality the points way beyond it no spaghetti just moving on up all right well oh. we cleared this building but this isn't the point oh shit we got a lot well, to go that's boys not good. Go. oh they got me oh boy all right well i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there guys i appreciate you guys all stopping by and Take a look at Warfare. I'm excited. Keep working on it. Keep showing you guys what we can do. Uh, let me go ahead and post that link to the Patreon and all that real quick. So there's that Patreon if you guys would like to support the game that way. And then I'll post the Discord link here as well. So join that Discord up. Like I said, we'll have some content in there. We'll be maybe giving out some more keys for beta testing and stuff in there. If you'd like, support us on Patreon there. So if you take a look at that, we've got the keys. Actually, let me go ahead and bring it up here for you.
So you see here, we got three tiers currently. We got a uh, just as low as five bucks a month. You get the alpha key on Steam that allows you to play immediately in our weekly play test. So we do play tests every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at a uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Sorry, wrong screen there. So at 4 p.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll be doing a stream. Or sorry, not a stream, a uh, play test. So with that first tier, you also get a key for Iron Armada, that game I was talking about earlier. Um, and then you also get into our private development Discord, which is where we're going to have more updates, stuff like that. Now, if you have, like I said, experience or you want to help out with the development, that's uh, there's a link to that in the Drake Links Discord. And then, of course, if you want to go up to the next tier, you also get a key for Operation Harsh Doorstop, which gets you into the alpha for that, along with, of course, everything else. And then you go up to the Commander tier. Weekly development meetings. You get Blood Metal, which is another one of our projects being worked on currently. Still get that Warfare key. Still get that Operation Harsh Doorstop key. Still get that Iron Armada key. You get your name in the credits saying you helped us out. Of course, we always appreciate that. You get an exclusive t-shirt. And once again, access to the private development server. So if you guys want to support that way, that'd be great. Like I said, for this channel, I've got a new Project Rally video going out tomorrow. It should be out at 8 a.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. And then come Monday, I don't know, I think I might have another Project Reality video. Maybe do one some 1.6 PR World War II. If not, I might try to do some Hell at Loose. We'll see. But uh, take care, guys. Like I said, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, we'll see you later.